just tripping down Raleigh View Road, uh, coming from Leduc. I picked up some deck boards, uh, five quarter treated. Got a bit of a bull nose on them, 16 footers. Uh, we're just finishing up the deck on a uh, what started off as a regrade and um, repair to some heaving piles or replacement uh, to some heaving piles. The piles were put in the ground on the deck at 42 inches. For a deck, you wouldn't think it would be an issue, uh, but with the high water table, the deck, it's a walkout. Uh, the deck is nine feet in the air. The piles have heaved and the deck is two and a half inches higher outside of the house. So everything that lands on the deck when it runs, it drops between, but it's sloping back towards the house by two and a half inches and 12 feet. Um, so what we did is put in 12 foot piles, um, concrete 12 inches in diameter, a couple sticks of uh, rebar. A little overkill for a deck, but if the deck's gonna move on 42 inch piles, it uh, certainly isn't going to move on uh, 12 foot pile, 12 foot deep piles, and 12 inches in di diameter. Um, we went from what was there was three little piles, we're going to four, just to get our spans properly for the beam. The beam that was there was a, a two by 12 beam, which should have been laminated, but whoever built it put one on one side of the post, one on the other side, and screwed it into place rather than putting it on top of the posts and, and lagging it together and then nailing it properly. Laminated beams are supposed to be laminated, not spaced apart. They just don't have the same integrity. So we went with the extra pile, um, laminated uh, two by 10 pressure uh, PWF rather than just the treated uh, decking because it is, moisture does come down on it. And in addition, uh, we're putting a 12 by 14 deck, a second deck because the the height of the existing deck is so high up. You come down a set of stairs nine feet, that's a long ways down. Uh, if you trip on a set of stairs like that, um, it's it's certain certainly going to break something, if not freaking kill you. So they're, go, they're split the difference. Um, we put a four foot wide, or process of putting a four foot wide set of stairs onto the new deck, and then from the new deck down onto the finish grade. Uh, in addition to that, uh, they had a wood retaining wall that came out on either side, uh, totally, totally collapsed. Um, and then somebody covered a good portion of it up with topsoil. Probably when they went to sell the house, they went, you know what, rather than haul it away, we'll just make it look pretty. And they covered it with topsoil and threw some seed down and Nobody was even aware that the old, and this is a new house, this is only uh, three, four years old, so regardless, they covered it up with topsoil and uh, no one was the wiser that there was uh, ever a retaining wall there. What we've done is we've put in a proper concrete eight inch thick retaining wall that returns after the 12 foot point returns back in two feet. We've backed it with washed rock and weeping tile at the bottom. Um, We've also done some regrading because the water table is as high as it is. Um, we've done some regrading to get the water away from the house because the creek is only four feet um, elevation in comparison to the four foot elevation of the existing house. And we don't want any ground or grade water to be introduced to the foundation because it already has enough groundwater uh, uh, giving it some some stress. We excavated the whole back side of the house, put in washed rock to make sure that any water does get in there it drains immediately as well as with the washed rock when the backfill freezes it can't it can't pull at the foundation so it can't lift at it. We put in some insulation on the on top of the piles or pardon me on top of the footing and then the wash rock on top of that. Obviously there was waterproofing uh, installed. It's below, it's, the clay is on the inside as well because it is a walkout, so it, it has a four foot deep 
slightly more than four foot deep uh, uh, footing across the back there. So in, inside is clay, but outside um, we, we, we've got the washed rock. Um, and then we've topped that washed rock. We put a fabric and uh, installed uh, topsoil on top of the fabric so they can have a nice lawn back there, whatever, whatever they want. The customer themselves are gonna be taking care of that. I think in all likelihood they'll probably be seeding it. I don't think they'll be uh, sodding it. It's a big area. It's out on an acreage, uh, which we don't get to do often enough. We don't, we're mostly in town dealing with dealing with ugly. Um, this time I, we met these people at uh, the Home and Garden Show and uh, they were pretty gung-ho on getting it done and we weren't able to do it till that was, in, that was in the spring. We weren't able to get out there because we are we are really busy, really busy. Um, so we're, we're wrapping them up. Nice people. Uh, most times, uh, customers are nice people. Anyone that pays the bills, uh, we consider nice, and that's the truth. But we do we get banana cake every now and then. Uh, they gave us access to their uh, RV. Uh, with a coffee maker in it, so it's kind of it, it, it's it's not usual. We usually uh, we're usually either sitting in our trucks on a on a cold day or uh, sitting in the sun on a sunny day. And it's been a lot of sunny days this year, so uh, we did a lot of coffee breaks outside when it was coffee time. But uh, they've they've treated us really well. Uh, nice, nice, nice people. Uh, that's about it. Um, with any, with fingers crossed, we're out of there today. We'll probably be moving equipment tomorrow, but we should be wrapped the job, or have the job wrapped uh, today. Thank you.